Hi Leo, this is Nayla Latrice. I am here to do a read for you guys. I know it has been a while. Um, thank you guys for your patience, but yes, I am back to doing reads for you guys, okay? So we are going to pull six cards to see what your situation is or what you guys are experiencing, the energy around you, and then we're going to pull an oracle at the end um, to bring it all in, okay? I am open and available for reads. If you guys are interested in readings, Ray any type of life coaching, spiritual coaching, you guys can click the link below to see all the services that I do offer, okay? Or if you want to follow me on Instagram, you guys can go ahead and do so, all right? So let's see, spirit, what messages, okay? I'm going to pull six cards and then I will tell you the, the six that we have. The first card out is the lovers, okay? Leo, Leo, what are y'all doing? This is exciting. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. Let's get your let's get these other cards. Okay. Spirit, what are the messages you have for Leo? So thus far we have the lovers out, the ten of cups, the two of wands. So I can let you know thus far. Let's see. I'm not going to take, it's three that came out at one time. I like to get them individually. Let me read these three that I have here first, and then we'll get your last three, okay? So the three I have here first is the lover. With this lover's card, somebody is ready to marry you. This is the vibes that I'm getting. This is not even just a regular connection here. This is, okay, when we meet, we are instantly here. We want to uh, spark this flame. And some, I'm getting like the Paris vibes. You know, this person is very, very romantic. Or this is, Leo, what it is you are desiring. You are desiring somebody to give you this type of energy, okay? Okay, this is the Gemini card, so you guys could be um, dealing with a Gemini as well. But somebody definitely wants to be very affectionate with you, very passionate with you. Somebody has a lot of uh, love that's burning in their heart, a lot of passion that is burning for you. And I feel like it's an eternal flame. You see how this candle right there, how it's intertwined? Both of you guys are intertwined with one another, but there was only one wick to light these candles, and it burns together. You guys melt together. This this is a forever love that is burning. This is beautiful. And then the next card we have for you is this Ten of Cups. Look at this. What does it say? Satiety. So you are completely satiated. Leo, this person makes you happy. This person fills all your cups. But Leo, the only way you were able to get this type of love with this lovers and with this ten of cups is because you gave yourself this uh, complete satiety, almost as if it was the nine of cups. You made yourself happy. You are happy within yourself, Leo, and therefore um, you guys are able to get this ten of cups. You guys were able to receive this equal give and take relationship. Many of you guys are also in same sex relationships as well as we see here with all the pride colors that are here okay remember there is no gender in tarot energy is energy every every energy you're gonna have the female and the and the masculine energy in everything okay so love is love right so we have this two of wands here as well. So with this two of wands, there are decisions that are being made. Somebody is deciding to move forward um, with you. They feel like, um, I'm feeling power couple is what I'm feeling here. Um, there's a lot of intertwined um things that are intertwining how these are crossing and the normal um two of wands the the wands are not crossed like this the wands are separated and you it depicts a person holding on to the wand that's in front of them but of course, each deck uh, has its own characteristics, its own character. And this is Dominion here. So one, and let's just say in the word Dominion, this lets me know that somebody wants to dominize you, if I'm saying that right. But you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyways, with these crossings, this is crossing and then this. So there's a lot of intertwining. There's a lot of um, inter... Um, interaction and engagement within this connection. You guys are definitely connected with each other with this two here as well. Um, but I feel, I'm feeling a power couple energy with this. I feel like you guys could both be entrepreneurs possibly as well. And you guys are very, very fiery or have a lot of action that you guys are ready to take. Look at this. We have the universe here. You have everything at your disposal. 
Your world is changing at this time. Whatever it is that you want to manifest, it's yours to manifest with this universe card here, okay? Let's see. Oh, look at all these wands energy that came out. Th look at this. This is four of wands you guys this is completion somebody wants to complete didn't i just say you guys are closing out cycles you're completing a cycle and starting this new cycle and this new cycle that you guys are starting begins with your home this is the four of wands um and the normal uh, picture, it's a its a castle in the background. You have two people, they're holding their hands up. Um, they're holding hands and they're holding their hands up um, with their uh, whole estate behind them. You know, it depicts that they are rich. It depicts that they're married and that um, they have a beautiful home that they have built. The Four of Wands is a marriage card. And this one is more so like victory. Um, they've completed their graduation, you know. So it takes them more so out of the home. So, But it's still the Four of Wands. So again, either way, this is so celebrations this is saying you've completed it you've graduated you are stable with that number four this person wants stability with you leo and it's falling right under the lover's card leo this is an amazing read and this is for um, just the energy that you are experiencing right now or can be getting ready to experience. I see the six of wands wanting to come out. There's a lot of action in this read. So somebody is going to be taking action very soon. Spirit, can we get two more cards for Leo? And on cue. And then they gave us two. I love it. Spirit is always on it, right? So this person has a lot of love for you, Leo. Oh my gosh, we have the Queen of Cups. Some of you guys could be therapists um, with this here. Um, or you guys are in the field of giving advice, helping people, things of that nature. Um, some of you guys may be seeing a counselor or may need help uh, with a counselor. For It could be a love relationship. It could be um, anything else. It could be addictions, whatever. Um, I do feel like some of you guys may need to actually go see an actual counselor for certain things. I am a life coach. So if you guys um, are interested in life coaching services, then you guys can click the link down below as well. Okay. Um, I uh, talk about... About different relationship issues I talk about money issues how are I shouldn't say issues um, <laughs> but that's what people feel it is at that time so I should say experiences um, law of attraction manifesting all of that okay so anyways back to the read um, I do feel this person has a lot of love for you they could be going through some things as well and they may be wanting to see somebody to help them okay um, but with this queen of cups this is a person that has a lot of love and they're not afraid to share it. it's very it's a feminine energy it's very gentle it's very sweet it's very kind this also could be um, you Leo as well you guys Guys, um, many of you guys are mothers. You guys are really, really good mothers or you guys are in a mothering role. But with this Queen of Cups falling under this Ten of Cups, that's more emotion here. There's a lot of love in this read. And the last card we have is the Star. This definitely confirms with the Star card. You see how she's rising up what it seems like out of the trenches, out of like a hard time. Again, some of you guys may need to go to counseling because of that. Um, you guys could definitely be going through because the Star card talks about healing Leo okay um so I do feel um some of you guys could be uh, dealing with an Aquarius as well. The star card being Aquarius. And those are the two major arcanas that we do have here. Um, but with this star card, you are on your way to, to rising to um, a higher situation uh, than what you are in here. Again, it seems like she emerged from the trenches like she's in an alley here. And she's looking for help or looking for her way out. So again, that could be this, this therapy energy here where some of you guys may need to reach out for help help or ask for help and don't be ashamed if that's the case or maybe your person needs help or they want to reach out um, for for professional help as well um, but here do know that you are the star you are the one that this person wants as well okay so if they have to get it from the ground if you guys are building from the ground they want to be able to build with you all right let's go ahead and get um and at the bottom of the deck we have death 
So there's a heart transformation that is taking place. So somebody's heart is transforming, is being revived again. Where there was no life, then it is it is coming back to life. And again, I'm heavy emphasis on this Queen of Cups. Some of you guys really um, do need the extra help or need this therapy with this card showing up, with this star card showing up, and with this major arcana here showing up with this death card. Um, you guys are going through a, a complete transformation of your heart, of your um, of your mindset, of your um, just your complete energy. I'm also a Reiki healer as well. So if you do need um, any Reiki done, you can also click the link down below. So this is a card that fell. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So this card is just reminding you of whatever you're thinking, that's what you're going to manifest to sum it up, okay? So if you're thinking your partner is going to cheat on you, that's exactly what your partner is going to do. If you're thinking your partner is going to love on you, that's exactly what your partner is going to do. Also, what you are projecting, what it is you're saying, that's what that's a reflection of yourself. So if you're scared that they're going to cheat, either you yourself are a cheater or either you're someone who um, may allow the cheating or you may be afraid of that happening to you because you, you haven't built yourself up to a level yet to, um, to receive someone who won't. You understand? So that is it for you, Leo. This is a beautiful read. This person is coming in. They are going to love on you, even if they need some help, even if you need some help we all need help i need help everybody need help <laughs> we all a little cuckoo <laughs> Anyways, you guys, yes, this person, they see you as the one they see, and they may see you as the one that's able to help them as well, okay? But they want to come in and build this home with you, um, possibly, again, marry you for sure. Some of you guys definitely will be getting married with this with this energy, this four of wands and this lover's energy here. Um, they're, in, they're in wedding clothes, like, so absolutely, you know. Um, but yeah, I am going to leave it there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for your continued support. You guys continue to expect videos from me um, from here on out, okay? If you guys liked what you heard, if it resonated with you guys, I do accept donations as well so if you are feeling uh froggy and want to jump and donate to the channel to keep it going i would absolutely uh appreciate that again if you guys are interested in any of my services or if you guys want to just connect with me on on the ground to see what i'm up to or on tiktok all of that is down below please thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel until next time bye leo